Hello? Hello, Eddie. This is Mr. Daly, your mum's consultant at the hospital. I'm sorry, but I don't have very good news. What do you mean? Well, your mum's injuries caused by the car's impact have led to some unexpected complications. What compl complications? We'll know more once the test results come through, but at this stage it is difficult to assess. Could you and your brother come and see us? How about this afternoon, say four o'clock? Eddie? Are you there, Eddie? No one in then? It doesn't seem to be. Which one are you after? Paula. I'm Butcher. Richard Butcher. I'm looking for Sammy, self. I can show you where Ricky is, though. Huh? Oh, can you? Something to see you. Do you know where I can find Sam? Yeah, try the cat. Oh, right. That's the one you want, the young one. Thank you. Well, if you can help somebody, is what I say. Morning. Simpson, by the council. Here's my eye, then. Uh, this is for you. Don't take it, Ricky. What's for me? Would you be Mr. Fowler? I'm not getting you. Well, if you are, this is for you. If you're not, would you make sure that Mr. Fowler gets his notification? I've booked them both as being served on one of the occupants at 11.38 uh, a.m. Monday, 29th of September. Thank you. <sighs> Don't tell me. Look, why can't you tell us? I've got a friend in there, you know. Well, I'm sorry. It's all completely legal. They were given plenty of warning. I know you, don't I? What's going on? Eviction. Can't you at least give them time to get their stuff out? We've already done that. We served the order two days ago. We've been very patient. It's Mr Simpson, isn't it? I've seen you up at the neighbourhood office. That's true. Oh, nice way to deal with a homeless problem. Very positive. Do you think we enjoy doing this? It was you I saw about Mark Guthrie. Oh, very probably. Excuse me. Oi! Well, that's up to you. My job is to see that the premises are vacated. We've got incoming tenants waiting to come in. Oh. People who have put their name on the waiting list. Oh, really? Come on, you guys. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Start moving your gear out and let's not have any aggro. Yeah, but I've got a job to do. Sorry, love. Well, I'm not going to stand here all day. Let's start out the back with the kitchen windows. Anything in the backyard? You're me underwear, me tight. Look, we ain't going nowhere, all right? Quite many, no, I mean, look, one little squeak from the cancel and you're all back in there. Well, we haven't got any choice. One fat policeman sticks his nose round the door and you're all, yes, officer, no, officer, three bags full, officer. We have got a choice. I'm standing, you go where you want. Look, Julia, I'll have to burn this ass down for you. But, Manny, don't do this. Oh, you have to kill me first. Come back here. A cup of tea and a cup of paracetamol, I suppose, while we're waiting. I hardly think the knocking of a PC's hat constitutes a major crime, officer. It's not about the hat, it's about obstructing officers. Look, and they've been as good as gold in there. They haven't been any trouble to anybody, have they, Dot? I mean, it's disgusting. I don't make the rules. I think Dr. Goebel said that. <laughs> It's wrongful arrest! You can't do it! It's wrongful arrest! Remember what she said to me in the cupboard last night? Having Nigel here is just like old time. You're in charge, are you? I'm the council representative. Would you mind saying that again in English? I'm just doing my job, that's all. I want to get ready at my place. Because you know it's a couple of kids you'll throw in here on the street, don't you? I'm sorry. I pay my poll tax. It's nothing to do with your poll tax. Come on, Frank, it's not his fault. Of course it is. He's loving every second of this. Just because we wouldn't give him devolution. Yeah, yeah, we know, pal. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Good luck. We've heard a great deal lately, in the media and in these courts, about guns and shootings in this city. We cannot be seen to condone anybody who uses a firearm, even in situations where it is claimed to be used for a person's own protection. It is our duty to protect the public from these lethal weapons. However, we've heard from your solicitor of your previous good record and the pressures you were under, and all these things will be taken into consideration on the question of bail. However, we find there are substantial grounds to believe that if you were to be released on bail, you could reoffend. 
There are also substantial grounds to believe you may interfere with a witness. We have considered whether conditions of bail would meet this risk, but in your case, from what we've heard, we believe they would not. Consequently, you are refused bail. We do this not only to protect others, but also yourself. This case will be adjourned and you will be remanded for a period of seven days until Friday the 22nd of September 1995 at 11 a.m. and until that time you will be held in custody. Yes? Mrs. Urquhart? Uh, that's right. I'm from the DHSF. Is your daughter at home? Well, not at the moment. Can I help you? Perhaps you can. It's about her claim for maternity benefit. Oh, well, uh... Better come in. Through there, please. Oh, this is Mr. Hudson, Mr. Um... Smith. Smith. Do sit down. Thank you. Well, I really don't know why my daughter is claiming maternity benefit, Mr. Smith. As you can see, we're not exactly impoverished. There's no reason for her to be a burden on the state. She's entitled to it, Mrs. Urquhart. It's not means tested. I see. Well, what is it you wanted to know? First of all, what's the baby's full name? William Martin uh, Urquhart. Urquhart? My daughter is unmarried. So far, but she may not stay that way. Mr. Hudson is the baby's father. He has asked Abby to marry him, but she hasn't made up her mind quite yet. So she's still a single parent. Where is she now? Out. When will she be back? I have really no idea. Is the baby with her? Oh, no. He's upstairs. Perhaps I'd better come back tomorrow. I'm afraid she won't be here. The day after that? It's no use, Mr. Smith. She's hardly ever at home at the moment. She's working? No. I need to talk to her, Mrs. Urquhart, about her milk allowance, free dental treatment. Where can I find her? Down by the river, outside a development site. Development site? She's involved in this childish protest, an absolutely pointless campaign. But there she is all day, every day, marching up and down with a banner. Doesn't sound like she's a very responsible mother. It's not really any of your business, is it? It could be, Mr. Hudson, if the child has to be taken into care. Hello. Do you have any oat cakes? Aye, you'll find them over there. Below the cat food. Ah, hello there, young Alec. You'll be wanting your mother's groceries. Aye. Route right through the back there. Thanks, Maura. Excuse me. Are these organic oat cakes? <laughs> you see, there has to be a list of ingredients. It's the law, and it's there to protect the rights of the consumer. I've been selling oat cakes for 20 years, and nobody asked me yet whether they're organic or no. The great oat cakes. Oh, really? And contain animal fat, I shouldn't wonder. Nah, no animal fat, only a wee bit of dripping. T dripping? Organic? Regulation, sir, I'm sure. One end and the prisoner at the other. And you must be careful not to move from your seat. I'll be there to see you through the glass. The rules, my lord. Oh, but I shan't be able to overhear nothing. If you don't mind, sir, I shall uh, have to take leave. <laughs> Thank you, sir. She won't be a tick. Come to finish the job off, have we? Who are you? It's all right, I'm from the press. Oh, yeah? Well, you better be able to prove it. Come on. Come on, have a chance, don't they? Oh, 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 I don't panic, mate. The emergency lights should kick in. How long's this going to take? Well, we get it back to normal as soon as possible. Right, carry on, then. It's been a madhouse all day. No problems. We went through our main line and blew the fuse. All fixed now. Let's wear it. We didn't realise it was going to cause such havoc. Yeah, well, we had a few problems. Oh, you say that again. Sarge. Later. When do you think you'll be finished? Couple of hours, most. Tosh, he's Matt Boyden. There's Deer Steak in there, please. All right, 
everyone, as quietly as possible, no need to panic. Would you just come this way, please, as quietly as you can? Come this way, please. Hey! This lady? Yes! Get those cuffs off! If we're going to get VJ, it's going to be through Pincus. What's he been up to? What's he been doing? That's the problem. Cocaine from the Knightsbridge safe deposit boxes. The contents were worth more than two million pounds. He's been charged with cheating the revenue. But in order for him to have cheated, the prosecution's case rests on the fact that this painting is an original. Again, they have failed to prove this. Will the foreman please stand? Mr. Foreman, have the jury reached a verdict upon which you are all agreed? Please answer yes or no. Yes. Do you find the defendant, John Gray, guilty or not guilty upon this indictment? Not guilty. 